All right, welcome back. Welcome what are we back. testing today? Kuru Group. We are testing expanding. allegedly uh, Conor McGregor's booze, alcohol. It's called Proper 12, number 12, triple distilled Irish whiskey. Do you, know, do you know why it's called Proper 12? Why? Because a proper fighting match needs to go 12 rounds. Oh. I don't think Conor McGregor just did. So. No. Yeah, this is after the fight with him and what's his name, where he lost, allegedly. I don't know. I didn't watch it. Uh, the description is a short blend uh, with hints of vanilla, honey, and toasted wood. It's a three-year-old Irish whiskey aged in bourbon barrels. So, it's so does, be this, does this mean that he's been making this for three years? Or he made it three years ago? Or he just kind of took a whiskey that was three years ago, aged it, and then... I'm assuming he worked with like Bushmills or something and just had them make this for him because... Alright. Let's be real. He's well, an ignorant iron. Without his no ado, do, we're going to get right into this. Only the highest quality has a plastic right Yeah, plastic right on the top. A little uh, paper here. So a proper seal. Wow. Yeah, and it tears real. Cork seal, you know, that's better, I guess, than nothing. Look how unwet that cork is, though. It's one of the plastic corks. No, I'm it smells sense. like Jameson. Oh, yeah, that smells like Jameson. <laughs> we called it before. Uh, the test taste would have the the aftertaste of Jameson and the slight skunkiness of Bushmills. That smells like Jameson. Yeah, that Bourbon. smells just like Jameson. I don't know what kind of bourbon. It's gonna be great Irish whiskey. Great. Here we go. It's it's smoother than Jameson. It tastes a lot like Jameson, except for the. It acid. does have a weird bourbon taste to it, though. On the ass end. Yeah. Where it's smoothed out. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't burn. It tastes like a, a mixture like Bushmills and fucking Jameson. Distilled and bottled in Ireland. It's probably the crappy Irish water. I, we must talk more about it before we imbibe. Well, yeah, but you gotta let it breathe a little bit. I'm sure that'll help an Irish whiskey. So, when I first heard Conor McGregor was producing a liquor. It was supposed to be high-end. It was supposed to retail like around like $60, $70 a bottle. This is $24.99. And by, you know, produced, he means like a DJ Khaled produced where he kind of puts ideas together but doesn't actually do anything for it. He came up with the name for his... Yeah, pretty much. Put, I think that logo would have been like his tattoo. Yeah, that's his, his lion. He's king of the lions. Or is that a tiger? I don't know. It's I stupid. Can't. A cat person would know. He's a cat man. Proper 12, Irish whiskey. Yeah, I'll read to you what it says on the back. Dublin 12. Paying, paying tribute to where it all began for me, Dublin 12, our master distiller and I set out one goal in mind to craft a proper Irish whiskey. That is true to Ireland. We are honored to share this with, fuck it, with you and proud to donate to the first responders for each bottle sold. The first responders of of what? Yeah. And where? Sounds like they're just trying to get a money grab. First responders to those who grab a drink first. Enjoy this smooth and balanced whiskey, a fine blind of golden grain and full flavored malted barley. Triple distilled and aged a minimum of three years in bourbon barrels. Proper number 12 offers hints of vanilla. I tasted none of that. No vanilla. Honey like sweetness, didn't taste any honey, and toasted wood. A proper salute to all. Yeah, so got the toasted wood on the end. Yeah, I got the toasted wood. That was like the, the bourbon barrels that they were doing. I mean, would, would you buy for 24 bucks? Not again, no. I'd say but if they want to sponsor us, I mean, you know, we'll, I mean, we'll drink it. I'll fight Conor McGregor. He sucks. <laughs> I'd say it's a little better than Jameson. Not much. Not much, it's no. Not, it's not really priced it out because I have a feeling this will go up because of you know collectibleness or some shit. Yeah. So if you like Irish whiskeys, just stay with just stay with Jameson. It's not worth it. Buy the better Jameson. Unless you too. try it like once, the, you know I'm all about you know YOLO. YOLO. That's 
That's why we got it. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's give another shot. Yeah, it's better the second time. Ah, uh, not better the second time. No, it's actually a little rough when you let it breathe. <laughs> Go figure. Maybe like a true Irishman, you're just supposed to just pop it and swig it right just, out of the bottle. Oh, it's lunchtime. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Get back to building the ships. Speaking of getting back to it, we better get back to it and. Uh, yeah, look forward to our, our future uh, future reviews on the pumpkin beer, because, you know, it's the Halloween season. Pumpkin beer. So good. It's better so than this. Good. That's for sure. Well, I don't know about that, but... Well, they've got to be better than this. I mean, this is properly balanced in Ireland. Till next time. Proper. And don't you think anything else.